and then use your hands to feel and to guide or to accompany your movements. And we will do a little bit of an anatomy lesson, <laughs> a little bit of an anatomy class with your hands. On one hand, try to find a pointy bit in the middle to the left side. So at, the, at your pelvis, in front to the left, there should be a, a bony pointy bit. So there's Greek and Latin names for that. That's the anterior superior iliac spine, like a little knob. A little knob in front, use your hands, soft, soft fingers, soft fingertips to find this landmark. It's a bony, bony bit. And if you trace this landmark backwards, the iliac crest, a little rim, the rim of your pelvis goes to the back. Try to trace it as far as you can follow it. You improve our tracing skills. So how far you can feel, not so much a question of how good is our padding, <laughs> but how, how well and how softly we can feel and trace. Okay, so from the pointy part, this anterior superior iliac spine, we can also go to the right, trace to the right, so immediately to the right, there's, there seems to be like nothing, just a mushy area, and then when you continue, continue down, you will find bony parts again, the upper branch, the upper branch of the pubis. So that's a, that's a, like a bridge, a little bridge that runs across towards the opposite side, and the opposite side there's the same bone, so we're interested in, in this bony part to find, use your fingertips very softly, a bony part. So we have two bony parts and in between is like, is like a soft area. In between is like a, <laughs> a wiring duct. That's a little canal in which a lot of important lines um, flow or go. Lots of important supply lines, blood, uh, big blood vessels, so don't press down too hard or you will <laughs> squeeze the blood supply of your, of your leg. And also there's a very uh, famous muscle going down here. Do you know which one? That's the, the, the psoas runs through this uh, little wiring duct. So you could even palpate your psoas. Underneath the psoas, in this wiring duct, actually quite underneath it, you will find your hip joint. So, and then we will continue on the inside of the edge of the leg, on the inside of the leg to find parts of your pelvis. So we found the upper branch of the pubis and there's a lower branch of the pubis. Inside you will be able to find a, a bone, a bony part. If you don't find it, you have to make very soft fingers or maybe the next time you're taking a bath or taking a shower, you can explore this area better. I mean, we are all grown up here, aren't we? And I think it's important to, to know this area, to have a good image of this area. If you come around on the, on the lower end, you will be able to find your sit bone, your, your sit bone, the ischial tuberosity, where, where we can sit. So that's really like the, the landmarks, the, the pelvis, the bony part, the, our structure, internal architectural structure of still of the torso, the pelvis. So that's not the leg. The leg, that's the big leg muscles in front and in the back, the quadriceps and the hamstrings. And then there's a big bone inside the femur. And in, in this exploration, I want you to get a good idea of what is your pelvis, what is your torso and what is your leg to make a distinction. And later you could look that up in an anatomy book or there's marvelous videos here on YouTube from really good anatomy teachers. But your approach I would suggest is like, like bird watching. In nature you spot a bird and you see which kind of feathers he has, the size of it, the sound of it, his voice, and then you look it up in a book. I would suggest like this, you find the structures first and, and then you look them up and then it's quite interesting to look them up. All right, that was our anatomy lesson and then extend your left leg again, wow, and, and feel how you feel. How is your 
image now? How is your feeling of lying down now? <laughs> Maybe it's, for, for me, it's a big difference, even though I've done this lesson so many times, it's a big difference between my left leg and my right leg. And also how you think about the leg, where does the legs end and where does your pelvis start or the other way around? <laughs>